In fact, the phenomenon is completely beyond our recognized parameters for aircraft technology. With the Abanis, the boundaries between biological nature and technological nature seem to blend. What is an Abani? It's an unidentified aerial biological entity, which is to say that it behaves as if it were a living being. These Abanis move as if they were enormous worms in an organic way. There are some really exceptional films of these objects. In August 2007, Arturo Robles Hill filmed a spectacular Ebani as it emitted the spheres. As the object moves into the clouds, we can see how high it is, and consequently, just how huge it is. Once again, on November the 17th, 2008, Hill filmed another Ebani emitting spheres. This time, the apparatus is in a regular shape, and it clearly shows the polyhedric and multiform nature of these flying biological entities. These films suggest that the Abanis are a sort of aircraft carrier that transports the spheres. I think that these enormous bodies, like snakes, are the way in which the spheres are transported and moved around. It's much easier to move hundreds or thousands of spheres in a solid, closed body rather than individually. So, I think that the Abanis are the origin of the phenomenon of the flotillas and of the flying spheres themselves. Often, the Abanis are accompanied by just one sphere that the researchers call the sentry. In different occasions, they have been recorded in several occasions, the Abanis and spheres have been filmed together. And we also observe that in many cases they are accompanied by a great sphere, a royal craft, that's always there. I don't know why, but we can see it in many videos. At other times, they appear together with the flotillas, as we can see in this Mexican film from 2007. We can see the phenomena progressively taking shape in this film by the Mexican Octavio Fernandez. Octavio also filmed these abanis in various colors. At times, the abanis like the spheres, cross the routes of aircraft. Abro mi toma. Mira, el avión pasó cerca. Te diste cuenta más al frente. Considering the incredulity and the amazement of the researchers themselves, it is understandable that the public thinks of the Abanis as balloons floating through the air. Everything we've seen about the flying spheres already seems complex and incredible. But in May 2009, the Mexican skywatcher Alfredo Carrillo filmed a phenomenon that has never been seen before. All the objects are dark colored, the witness is filming against the sun. But there are more surprises to come. The event is also being filmed at the same time by another witness, the Mexican Pedro Hernandez. Initially, Hernandez, just when he's filming an aircraft flying past, sees the same flying object that Carrillo has filmed, but with the sunlight at his back. So the objects are illuminated, and the video gives a better image of the spheres than we've ever seen before. Probably, Hernandez is closer to the phenomenon he is filming.
The object starts to slow its spinning motion and then the incredible scene continues. Slowly, the flotilla begins to form. When the film ends, Hernandez comments on the incredible scene he's just witnessed. Here behind me there were UFOs moving around, really beautiful. They were yellow, they were really beautiful and, and they were here, just behind me. Comparing the two videos of Carrillo and Hernandez, we can clearly see that it really is the same phenomenon. The statements by witnesses, the investigations, the exceptional images leave little room for theories of fraud, mass hallucinations or pranks. It is really difficult to think that the spheres are not real or the result of intelligent life. Las esferas son un fenómeno inteligente. No me cabe la menor duda. The spheres are an intelligent phenomenon, I have no doubt, and we have accumulated lots of film where we can see this intelligent movement. They are part of a project that is even greater than they are. That's why we should believe that we are dealing with a phenomenon that shows the interest towards and the investigation upon us, human beings. Perhaps one day, this reality will be accepted by the authorities. Or perhaps it will be the phenomenon itself that forces us to accept it without waiting for human decisions. It wouldn't be the first time. In the past, events have changed human history. Will we be taken by surprise this time too?